Hi, I'm Yash. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a bird. So we'll start off with some white and just a touch of blue. Fair enough. Add just a bit of water and I'll come right over here and transfer that color from my brush to my watercolor paper. And as we're going to go there, I'll make it a bit darker as well as deeper. It'll get deeper automatically. I'm going to take in some more of that color and just drop it in right over there. Now I'll take in some white without cleaning the brush, not wiping the brush and just drop it in some decent amount of good stuff. Okay, just like that. And I find a bit of blue over here too. I'm gonna take in more of white. I'm using the manipulated flat brush for this and I'm adding water drop by drop to get that smoothness that wiggle follow the shape for the angles so now I've taken some turquoise color almost a turquoise color by mixing in some cobalt blue white and touch of lime yellow. Lighten it up a bit. And look at that, you got instant feathers done in there itself. Don't want this to be too light. So now I'll introduce some lime yellow into that same pile of paint. And I find a bit of warmth in that color this is more towards the bluish side so i'll add in just a touch of orange look at that i can add in more flame yellow and more blue to that makes a beautiful color and let's drop it in right over there i'm trying to eat up my sketch I don't want to over blend these colors. I'm not over mixing the colors on my palette either. Okay, something like that. Still using the manipulated flat brush for this. And I find a bit over there too. And some over there. Now on my filbert brush, I'll take in some lime yellow. And just a touch of orange, adding it drop by drop. Okay, fair enough. And let's come right over there and drop it in. I'm looking for a mid tone orange color. I don't want to use pure orange, nor I want to use pure lime yellow. Just deepen that color a bit and let that green happen if at all that orange and lime yellow mixes with the blue. went straight into some lime yellow without cleaning the brush and try to blend that okay but still you don't want to get that green everywhere in your painting take in more of that lime yellow and just drop it in next to the face of the bird to blend that so now i mix up some light blue color that will mix up with the graphite and it will turn gray automatically okay and as you come over there let that get mixed turn the brush adjust the angle of the brush take in more of blue this time Gone into some pure white and look at that that effect I'm blocking in the colors at this point 
and same whole script right over there too. So now I've mixed up some grey and added just a touch of orange into that to make it warm. And let's go. No, that's not enough. The water was not enough. And I've chiseled my brush as much as possible. And follow your sketch. Okay, something over there. Take in some pure white, and that helps. That totally helps. Don't over blend that. Now I've added more of black, and let's come right over there and do that. And open some feathers over there too. They can be in any shape, any direction, any angle. Okay, and as you come there, you can play around with the shades and try out different colors. I've added more of white there. Take in some pure black and I'll drop it in on either side. And I'll take in some white, just drop it in right over there and blend it in there itself. And I mix it from lime yellow into that same pile of paint. And look at that, change angle of the brush. And look at that, that gives you a soft effect, which makes it look natural and realistic. So went straight into some blue and white. Okay, fairly dark enough. And I'll take in some black without cleaning the brush. And I'm using the manipulated flat brush again. And over here we need to add in some sort of separations. But it's that easy. Just a bit, not much, just a bit. Creating that soft look in the feathers. Now I've taken in some light peach color. Let's come right over here and drop in the highlights. These subtle differences make a huge difference at the end of the painting. Okay, and something comes off right with there too. Blending that. Keep right there. And some over here too. So now, uh, my manipulated flat brush, I've taken in some orange, just some orange. Let's come right over here and drop it in. And in that three dimensional look that creates the depth. Okay, something over there. And for this, I've flattened the brush using the originality of the brush. Okay, something over there too. And blend them considerably well to make them look realistic. Something comes off right over there too. And here I'll make use of the manipulatedness of this brush. Drop in the feathers. I've not had water for this as of now. Go back, reload the brush. Just drop it in just like that. And I'll come right over here and add in another coat of highlight. Some over here too. Some softness created there will help so now i've introduced some sap green and white into my pile of paint and let's go ahead and highlight them lighten it up a bit yeah some over there hmm so now i went straight up to some blue and some black 
just added a bit of water and took off the excess paint from the brush and just sort of should do that with the black Yeah, those detailings are so beautiful to paint and over here too we'll have that same creates all sorts of shapes different sizes different colors make the bird look very beautiful add more of that blue okay, and something comes off right over there and over here, I do it like that. And just a drop or two of water. And just give that comma strokes. After each comma stroke, I'm taking the brush off from the surface. That is a watercolor paper. And just tap at the corner, at the edge, not in the middle. So I add just a bit of white. And let's come right over there and sort of drop in. Cleaning up those edges. Over here too we'll have in some of those. They're just like that. It's that easy. So without cleaning the brush I just went into some white. And drop in another layer. Color comes off over there too. Yeah, look at the color there, it's a lot of interest, huh? And some over here to wiggle the brush. Hmm, so now I'll take my bigger brush and come right over here and drop in that detailing. Okay. And some over here too, I've added just some water, some 30% of water to my paint. Now let's go ahead and paint in some strokes on the face. Leave the gap between each stroke. Something comes off right over there and another one's gonna come right over here too. Just following my sketch. I can, I can barely see my sketch. I hope that's visible on the camera. And something comes off right over there. Just give it a slight tap. And keen observation is the key here. As far as it's concerned around the eye, it will come something like that. Circle it right over there. And it will come right over there like that. And something over here too. I'm using the detailed round brush for this. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, something over there and maybe another ones will come off right over there just like that so now I added more of white into that same pile of paint need some water now I've added some water to that paint and just give a slight barely touching the surface barely should see it okay something like that Hmm. And over here I'll drop in some shadow. So now I added more of white. And let's come right over here and just drop in some strokes over here too on the face. These are mostly overlapping strokes. Some are very thick, some are thin. Create that smooth transition, it will be very dark there. Could we make use of the liner brush for this? Less is more. Now, on my manipulated flat brush, I've taken in more of 
bluish black color and let's come right over here and talk in this beak the mouth part just give it a slight blend just like that okay with that said let's drop in a few more textures on the beak but turn the brush the other way get thicker strokes makes it look realistic So now I'll take in some pure white without cleaning the brush and just drop it in right over there like that. Wipe off the brush really good and just come around and blend that. That's depicting the light source. Now on my worn out filbert brush I'll take in some lime yellow and touch of white. Tapping it very lightly getting that fluffiness in the feathers okay something right over there and something comes off right over here too don't want it to be everywhere you'll get a better view in this okay something just like that and some over here too Just a tap tool over there should kind of help. And this is popping out. This color is appearing to be bright because I had a mid tone orange color. Okay, something comes off right over there. Now I'll take in some white and some blue. Just drop in a few strokes. Right over there. Okay, something like that. Comma strokes. Just go to like that. And on the left hand side, we'll have the same over here too. Sometimes you can change the angles, the directions of the strokes. Hmm. So now let's go ahead and paint in the eye. For that, I've taken in some blue, lime yellow, touch of white, and let's drop it in right over there. Now, with some blue and orange, let's drop in that. Blend it well. And before I forget, I'll drop in the nostril, taking in more of blue and orange, proportionately more blue than the orange. Hmm. Now I've taken some white and some of that same green color after wiping off my brush. And let's come right over there and drop in the eye. There we go. Now let's go ahead and drop in the pupil, take it in a grey colour, should make it a bit round, go in that circular manner and so now let's go ahead and apply the boundary for the eye, turn the paper, let's drop it in just like that, barely touching the surface. and something comes off right over there so now it's some blue and some orange and some white let's come right over here and drop in some brownish thing right over here take in some pure white without cleaning the brush and blend it off then there itself and I'll apply that same thing Right over there and let's go ahead and paint in the light source inside the eye and to make it look even realistic 
I'll take in some white and orange. Just apply just like shadows over here. Just like that. With this, I come to the end of this painting. I hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching.